So let's take a look at Monterey and I'm going to do some screen jumping around. So hopefully this, this works well. So in the city of Monterey, our roadmap to commercial cannabis, um, let's see, uh, in 2020, their team started to work with a um, starting point for their project. And they said the purpose was to establish a process for permitting and regulating commercial cannabis operations in the city of Monterey and to do it right the first time. They were focused on ensuring the solution would be based on best practices and reflective of community input they received. They spent time in the beginning identifying process con contributors, asking questions, receiving input, and asking more questions in order to develop a process for the project. The outcome of this design phase was a six-step process and a loose timeline, which they compiled and presented as a roadmap to commercial cannabis. Since then, the city has provided consistent updates, transparently received and shared community input, and used that information on the next action. Here on their Have Your Say Monterey engagement platform, um, as well as other channels that they use to engage the community on both small and large initiatives, they allow their community to become educated on what the process is, to participate and ask questions as well as to leave comments and to really be a part of the process to understand how their participation over time um, as a, over time has really impacted the project. Understanding where and how an audience interacts with an organization is so important to effective governments, governance that the US federal government issued executive order 14058 on transforming the customer experience and federal service delivery to rebuild trust in, gov in government in December, 2021. Section one of the order um, makes my heart sing, but also makes the role of engagement clear. Our government must recommit to being of the people, by the people, and for the people in order to solve the complex 21st century challenges our nation faces. Government must be held accountable for designing and delivering services with a focus on the actual experience of people whom it is meant to serve, not those who are just sitting at the desk, but those who are on the other side. Government must also work to deliver services more equitably and effectively, especially for those who have been historically underserved. Strengthening the democratic process requires providing direct lines of feedback and mechanisms for engaging the American people in the design and improvement of federal government programs, processes, and services. If that's not a mandate for engagement ecosystems, I don't know what is, but we are being, um, I guess, informed, and in this case, issued an executive order for the federal government to make those changes, to do this human-centered um, design and engagement ecosystem facilitates that. Since the executive order was issued, the GSA via performance.gov has produced blog articles, templates, you can tell this is a template from the US federal government, um, guides, and even cross-agency life experiences to improve service delivery and customer experience for federal agencies. Life experiences like customer journeys are used to set the stage for deeper journey mapping for agencies to allow that cross-agency or cross-silo collaboration. Who is the person you are trying to serve? Is it someone recovering from a disaster, navigating a tra transition to civilian life, um, having a childhood, right? Having an early child, um, having child, having a child and early childhood needs. All of these play um, uh, or, or impacts to your residents' lives and can help you when you sit in their um, shoes or walk a mile in their shoes to help you design their services that meet their needs.